Hello, a much milder feel today. Temperatures widely in double figures, some getting close to 14 or 15 Celsius, but a topsy-turvy sort of afternoon. Some sunshine around, but also further showers, quite heavy if you catch them, and some gusty winds, and it's the strength of the wind later tonight and through tomorrow morning that we're most concerned about. So it's certainly a windy evening. There'll be some showers around, but those winds will be strengthening all the while. So through the early hours, particularly for western coasts, we could see gales, if not severe gales. For most, it's a mild night away from the far north of Scotland, where those showers could start to turn wintry again. But we're keeping an eye on this quite deep area of low pressure. Once again, I'm sure you can notice this squeeze in the ice of ours. It's going to be a windy start to Wednesday. And it's not just the wind. We've got some heavy rain and combine that with the snow that's starting to thaw. There could be a lot of surface water. So some travel disruption is likely. Stay up to date with the latest travel news on your BBC local radio. So through tomorrow morning, our band of heavy rain sinking its way southeastwards, coupled with those strong winds touching gale force in places. And the wind speeds that you see here are the expected gusts around eight o'clock in the morning. So you can see it's going to be very windy. There'll be some heavy rain, some snow for northern Scotland. The rain a little bit more showery across southern Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England. But this band of heavy rain draped from really East Anglia, Humberside, all the way down to Devon and Cornwall, giving some very heavy rain in places and those strong and gusty winds. So it's a really blustery start to the day. As I mentioned, it could be some tricky travelling conditions for a time. And this band of rain steadily works its way southeastwards through the morning. Behind it, there'll be some sunshine, there'll be some showers again, wintry in nature across Scotland and still these strong winds, which will start to lose some of their strength through the day. But behind that rain, temperatures starting to dip again. So five to eight Celsius in the north, just about holding on to something milder further south. For Thursday, well, it's a day of sunshine and showers, windy, but the wind's not as strong. And I think we'll all notice a change just to something a little bit cooler. And certainly through the early hours of Friday, it will be a colder night and cold enough for a frost, particularly across Scotland and parts of Northern England. But we end the week for many, mainly dry, a few showers along the east coast, some sunshine, but for all, feeling colder.